In this video, we're going to show you some of the Istrian wines and styles that you're going to want to look out for. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. Hi, I'm Sherry Tan. Welcome back to the show. We are going to talk about Istrian wines from Croatia. Where is Istria? So Istria is a heart-shaped peninsula. It's at the top of the Adriatic. It's in between Italy and Croatia. And as a matter of fact, it used to belong to Italy. It's belonged to Italy, the Austria-Hungarian Empire, Yugoslavia, and now it's modern-day Croatia. And you definitely see the Italian influence there. <laughs> Istrian winemakers, Istria is the region where winemakers are really banded together and are trying to push the quality bar for Croatian wine, and it's definitely evident. The organization is actually Vinistra, and they hold an annual tasting, and we went to the 26th edition just a few weeks ago. And even though that we've done a lot of research for Croatian wines, for a book cracking Croatian wine, this was the first Vinistra that we've ever attended, right? Yeah, it's funny, but uh, it's, it was fantastic to be there because no matter how much you know about the, the wine country, there are always new producers uh, that are worth paying attention to because, you know, their quality improves every year. When you think of Istria, you think of Malvasia Starska, also known as Malvasia Istriana. It's a grape that Shireen actually is really high on. Very much, because it makes fantastic, easy drinking, um, summery white wine. But when you just macerate it with a little bit of skin contact, the body builds up and you've got some nice like sweet tannins on the finish, amazing flavors. Let's talk about the styles that you'd look out for. I think that when you are in Istria or you're in Croatia, you cannot go wrong with fresh Malvasias from most producers, right? There's literally almost zero bad Malvasia around. <laughs> what, what, kind of, what, what do people expect when you take a taste of fresh Malvasia? So first of all, the nose has to be kind of limey, lemony, and also a floral tone to it. And on the palate, usually you get some kind of white flesh fruit, depending on how the, the winemaker um, make the wine or pick the grape, right? But you also get a certain like very nice acidity. Sometimes it comes with this like bitter almond sort of finish so it even though it's a fresh white wine it's very complex there's also other styles of malvasia being made from barrel fermented barrel aged aged in acacia wood and macerated uh, macerated orange wines amber wines that's my favorite style for malvasia i think that the skin just really gives the wine some depth and some body yeah the skin definitely gives this sort of like sweet tannins on the finish also bear in mind that some of the malvasia can be quite Salty on the finish as well. Istrian's red grape is called Taran. And before we get into that, I want to let you know that the, there is a dispute between the name, names and bottlings between Slovenia and Croatia, but this is not a political video. We're just going to talk about the wines that you're going to see from Istria that are labeled with Taran, they're made from the grape Taran. It's a grape that's got really high acidity, wild berry flavors. I kind of imagine it. Uh, like kind of like Sangiovese Barbera y. Definitely. So you're going to have fresh Tarans that are aged in stainless steel and Tarans that are aged in barrel. What, what kind of style do you enjoy? Like both. I definitely like both because when it's fresh, right, Tehran, again, is just like Malvasia. It's a very complex wine, a, a complex grape. The kind of wine that you get from it, even though it's fresh, you'll be getting like wild berry, like you said, and then there's going to be like super high acidity, like the Barbera. But yeah, at the same time, you get this like savory undertone to it, so you can really enjoy a fresh um, Tehran. But when it ages, you gain the body, you gain the structure. And it goes great with the local pastas, right? Too. Absolutely, and also a lot of the meat goes well with there. The grape actually surprisingly ages very well. So if you can find some aged bottles, it's worth checking out. While a lot of producers are high on Merlot, we found at the last Vinistria a lot of other grapes making exciting varietal wines. Most specifically, one of your favorite grapes. It's Cabernet Franc, definitely. There are not many producers making a varietal Cabernet Franc, but out of the examples that we tasted, it's a very complex wine. I mean, on the nose, you 
you you get a style that could be like more samu champanina like you can get some chinon like kind of cabernet franc from there but what is interesting is all of this cabernet franc they really stand on its own as as a wine it can be easy drinking but they're always like it's this nice tannic structure in the background that makes it more than just you know another easy drinking wine i would have to say aside from Turin, cabernet franc varietal wines probably the most exciting for me for in terms of varietal wines yeah varietal i wine. mean cabernet sauvignon comes close Merlot, i love it but i think Merlot is much more of a, a better blending wine in istria sorry <laughs> than on its own and for those red wine lovers i think a real signature for the region are istrian red blends and what do i mean by that they all these blends usually have Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Taran, or Rafosco, which Taran and Rafosco are cousins, in a blend, so it's kind of like a super Istrian. I love these wines. They're always low, below 14 in alcohol, 12 and a half to 13 and a half. What do you like about those wines? I mean, it's very different from other Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot blend. Once you smell the Super Istria blend, you remember it. Because Taran, no matter how little you put in the blend, right, you somehow you just smell it. It smells like blue, it really smells like iron, like oxidized iron, rusty nail, uh, wild berry, and it really adds a lot of character. While you still have the structure with the kind of nice some the plushness, some little. They're actually some of my favorite uh, Croatian wines. Yeah, I think yeah. are Istrian red blend. I mean, when it comes to Istrian red, red blend, you expect a lot of juiciness because of the acidity from Terra, and that's so far and to drink. <laughs> So that's all. If you, if you are in Croatia, you're in Istria. It's a popular. It's a popular vacation destination. You can really, really taste those wines, try those wines, buy those wines with a lot of confidence. So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. We'll see you at the next episode.